work out, work out. She work. in the mirror trying to work out. Uh. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the vlog. I am currently trying to get my uh, jacket out the closet because it's cold outside. It is cold here in good old Tejas. And you already know what time it is. Your girl's getting ready to go to the gym. Sorry for not having a vlog up last week. By the time y'all are seeing this, the video should already be up. Telling you guys my November goals, what I'm going to be doing this month, um, how I'm really going to be pushing myself. So if you have not, ew, if you have not seen that video, definitely go check it out. I am running behind y'all. I set three alarms this morning, actually to get up at like five something in the morning. And I actually got up, but silly me, I was laying in bed for like five minutes after, you know, I woke up and I ended up falling back to sleep. So defeats the purpose right yeah but again welcome to the vlog welcome to a new month i'm excited and we're really gonna be pushing ourselves this month y'all i'm so committed like literally committed to sticking with the goals that i've set for myself this month it just takes dedication it takes a commitment like a commitment commitment to yourself and just keeping your word to yourself which i am really just trying to focus more on because i'll say things to myself not really follow through with them um and i mean where is that gonna get me right nowhere <laughs> okay you guys so we just made it to the gym um, I got some questions people wanted to know if I like drink my BCAs just after my workout or just before my workout I drink a little bit before my workout and then I just drink the rest throughout my workout and then sometimes I'll have like some left over and I'll just continue to drink that post workout sorry y'all talking about them just made me want to <laughs> but y'all my legs are so sore from my workout yesterday which was quiet focused and um, glutes so today's workout is just shoulders arms i don't think i'm doing a lot of back today i don't i don't remember but that's what we're going to be doing today um i am going to bring you guys along with me through throughout some of my workouts um i just don't be wanting to show y'all the stuff that i'm doing that's very repetitive because i feel like it gets boring and i don't know maybe it's because i'm editing the videos and i like see this the same workouts you know sometimes throughout the vlogs each week um I just don't want you guys to get bored and you know with seeing the same stuff so i try to show you guys different things that i may be doing or workouts that i like really felt the burn that's usually what you guys see i'm um, in the workouts or in the vlogs so that's what i'm going to be showing you guys today if y'all have already seen my november goals then y'all know that i am be being very not very restrictive but I'm doing I'm doing um, things differently in terms of my eating habits really trying to make sure I'm doing what I need to do outside the gym in order for me to have the best results physically um, and I'm just really committed to doing it y'all because I if we're on a countdown we have like some months left or some weeks left until uh january 1st you guys and i'm just on a, a countdown i'm just wanting to really just put my best foot forward that i can in order to set me up um in the best way for the start of the next year because 2020 y'all that's the that's the year of clarity the year of <sighs> vision and i mean it's 2020 like 2020 perfect vision i don't know that probably don't even make sense but it just sounds good <laughs> But y'all, let me get up in here because it's actually raining. Well, not raining, but it's like starting to sprinkle a little bit. And even though I have my weave on, I don't want to be caught up in it, okay? So, let's go. Oh, and I always keep some spray in my bag. Like, girl, always. I did not charge my phone yesterday, so I'm on 30%. Hopefully, my battery doesn't go crazy and die out on me. But, let go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Right now, you guys y'all my legs hurt so bad my legs hurt so bad y'all i have been doing this really good workout on this there master so what i've been doing is nothing complex or hard or anything like that or no let me not say hard it's nothing intricate to where you can't understand it basically i've been doing like 20 minutes on the uh treadmill or um let me get my thoughts together because I'm tired. <laughs> Basically, I've been doing 20 minutes on the Stairmaster before I start my workout. What I've been doing is I'll start out just at a normal speed, maybe like three or four, and do that for five minutes. And then after that five minutes, I'll increase um, the speed or the level by one every minute. So I worked myself all the way up to 
15 no i work myself what all the way up to 16 on the treadmill y'all and then once i get there i just work myself back down each time i do my workout i give myself a goal so like previously my goal was to get up to 12 and then work myself back down decreasing it by a level every minute and then i got myself up to not 16 15 i got myself up to 15 and i've been decreasing it by one and increasing it by one every single minute so that's a really good workout. Now I'm about to head home, y'all. I was gonna eat me some Kodak pancakes, but sometimes I feel like, even though I love the Kodak pancakes, sometimes I feel like, you know, it can be too big of a breakfast. So I think when I get home, I'm just gonna have eggs, turkey bacon, and some toast. And that'll just be it. That way I'm not getting like so many carbs in, even though the Kodak pancakes are only like 20 something grams of carbs. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just kind of want a little lighter breakfast today. But we did burn I'm about like 700 something calories in the gym today so good start not mad about it I was in there for like hour and a half so yeah I feel good y'all five days a week tomorrow is the day I'm supposed to be doing two a days pray for me pray for me right here you guys can see but I'm going to actually eat this chicken rice and mixed vegetables one tonight for dinner this is pretty much the same thing, just mixed all together. I ended up adding some of this teriyaki based and glaze sauce. It's from Kikoman. I just put like a little bit on there and that is what we have. And y'all, it's good, I already tasted it. It's good. <laughs> what is up you guys, good morning. It is a new day. Today is Wednesday, y'all. Today is the day that I do my two-a-days. I'm going to be committed and be disciplined enough to do another workout this evening when I get off because I that's the commitment that I made. And I told you guys that again in my November goals video. I am so sore, y'all. Like, so freaking sore. Of course, I'm going to be using Fitbod again today. Y'all, I am so sore this morning. Like, my legs are so sore. My arms are sore, too, in certain areas. Um, and I was a little worried because how I have my Fitbod split going on, I set it to where it does. Like, one day it focuses on upper body, the next day lower body, the next day upper body, the next day lower body. I was worried that because i did upper body yesterday that it was going to have me doing lower body today but i still feel like my legs need a rest because they're super sore but according to fitbot which is another reason why i am really liking the app so far it has me doing another upper body workout today even though i did one yesterday but today we're focusing on um, different parts of my upper body that didn't get worked yesterday. Let me show y'all on the app really quick. So this is basically how the app looks. Let me make sure it's focused for y'all. Y'all can see today we're going to be doing an upper body workout. Um, it has these little options right here. Down here at the bottom it has recovery, workout, and your log. Recovery is basically where you can go in and look at different muscle groups and see which ones are ready to be worked again which ones are um, needing to rest a little bit more because i did some workouts some upper body workouts that really focused on my biceps and my chest area this area is super red which means that i need to you know obviously not do that today because they need some rest when i click up here it gives me an overview of all of my muscle groups with percentages over here on the side for the percentages the lower the percentage that means that that area group needs to rest some more so the lowest percentage that i have are the triceps, biceps, and chest area, which I just showed y'all, those are 16%, 13%, 9%. That means that those need to rest some more. The higher the percentage means that those areas of my body are ready to be worked again. So today we're gonna be doing another back workout because back is at 92%, my shoulders are at 77%, 
glute 65 percent lower back 50 percent um and then it just decreases down from there so when we click down here for workouts you can see that the muscle groups that i'm going to be working today let's focus are the muscle groups that have the highest percentages so we're going to be focusing a little bit on quads but we're really going to be targeting some lower back some abs some of my um, upper back my shoulders and um, mid back area and it just literally gives you your list of what you're supposed to do today so you can see it's incorporate some supersets in there another round of supersets another round of supersets but this time the supersets are with seeing some core exercises and i just really 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 am liking the app y'all obviously it gives me my warm-up in the beginning which it tells me um or it has me doing 18 minutes of running on the treadmill i'll probably just do some incline walking because my legs again are super sore down here at the bottom it has a log of pretty much all your past workouts okay pretty much all your past workouts and it keeps track of the amount of weight you you lifted, the amount of reps you did, the amount of rounds you did for each exercise. It's just a really thorough app, y'all. They did really good with this app. So that is pretty much the app. I'm just really loving it so far. I'll let you guys know if anything changes. I know the vlog is very choppy, but let me give you guys an update because I think the last clip y'all saw i was getting ready to go into the gym right i think that was on wednesday i believe well on wednesday i did two two a days y'all i stuck with my commitment i worked out in the morning and then i end up going to work out in the evening after work my evening workout i literally just did cardio y'all i was in there for like 45 minutes and i split up doing that same stairmaster workout um upping the intensity every minute I was on there for 25 minutes y'all and then I ended up doing my sprint intervals and then I ended up pushing up or doing sled pushes so that is pretty much what I did today is Friday I am working out today I didn't work out yesterday y'all because I needed just a break my body was so sore so I didn't work out I'm editing, editing the vlog right now but I just see that Shay, what are you doing, girl? This is not vlogging. You didn't come back and show them anything. I am feeling really bloated today, y'all. So I have on my Gold's Gym waist belt with this Kuliu Kuliu um, vest, sweat vest that I had showed you guys in like a video a while back. Um, I can link it, but I just still like to wear this whenever I'm feeling like bloated because it is more of a vest style. I really like that. And, um, yeah, I just feel like it just helps me to sweat a little bit more. Y'all know with bloating, a lot of times it can be water weight. So I'm just trying to sweat this area out, y'all, because your girl is feeling very bloated. I may just wear this by itself and not put this on because this, even though it sucks it in like a little more, I feel really restricted when I have this on. But let me see. I'll probably just leave it off for right now. But if you're on those days when y'all are feeling bloated, y'all, wear you a little sweat vest, you know? And I knew, know some people ask me about weight training or waist training. I don't really, you know, do waist training. I'm not really a fan of it. It's just my personal opinion. Um, Cause I feel like, I don't know, I don't, Feel like it's natural you know because my organs being squished together i don't know i just don't feel like it's natural my opinion but i know people do get results from it but when i wear like waist um belts and um waist training type of things it's mostly just for me to like get rid of bloating and to really restrict that area in the gym you know workout training is what i'm going to be doing today y'all because i'm bloated i just want to go in there do a lot of cardio mixed in with some um free weights so we'll see what app or work workout i can find on the workout trainer app that kind of you know is tailored to what i'm trying to do today um but yeah i hope you guys had a great week y'all we have like what 48 48 47 days i think it's 48 days left in 2019 from today and today's tuesday the 13th yeah so we got to get it y'all i literally have 40 
eight days to do five pull-ups in a row. 48 days. coming back because this week I'm doing my two days and being that I'm getting a late start with my workouts this week today and tomorrow are gonna have to be my two days so we're about to go in here and get her done Can we talk about how much better I'm getting with my pull-ups, okay? Y'all know, I think a few vlogs back when I was working out with Daryl, um, I could not even hold myself up on the little pull-up bar for basically three seconds, not even like five seconds. It was like I was getting up there and falling right back down. Did y'all see how long I was holding myself up yesterday? I mean, it was still only probably like, what, five seconds, four seconds. But compared to what I was doing, progress, honey, okay? The workout today is going to be lower body focused glutes, um, quads in there with some core. So 
we're gonna get it in y'all we are here y'all y'all have y'all know i love the turf so this is where we're gonna be today i'm just going to set up on one of these machines right here and we're gonna get it started done with our workout y'all saw i was struggling trying to pick that freaking ball up with my feet so yeah girl, i could not pick that ball up but what i wanted to tell you guys i've been really trying to focus on changing my mindset changing my perspective getting rid of like limited beliefs that i've you know adopted over the years and all of that just trying to like renew my mind and replace you know negative thoughts and things with like positive ones say my positive affirmations um just read my bible more all that stuff right we have to change our mindset from saying like oh i have to go to the gym or i must go to the gym or i have to eat healthy or i have to do this project or you know because when you have that idea of like you have to do something you must do something you know just like when your kids when your parents tell you you ha you have to do this you need to do this you don't want to do it because it's like you feel like it's a chore you feel like it's a burden you you don't really have any enjoyment in it so it really just stems around changing your perspective from i have to do something to i want to do something and really getting to the root of what it is that you want so for example i want to be c completely comfortable with my body i want to love myself i want to look good naked i want to be in the best shape that i can possible you know if those are things you want then it's not I have to go to the gym or I need to go to the gym. It's I want to go to the gym because I want to look good naked. I want to feel comfortable with my body. So I want to go to the gym because that's going to get me to my goal. Perspective is so important. Mindset is so important. I know, you know, it's hard to do because a lot of us, these are mindsets and, and beliefs that we have adopted and we've held on to for so long. But it's literally just about getting rid of them replacing them with positive things with you know limitless beliefs and really just making efforts to be your best self and recognizing the things that you need to change about yourself recognizing the things that are hindering you and the things that are 
keeping you from reaching your full potential. I just want to let you guys know that because I know I'm not the only one. You know, obviously, I know a lot of people have that mentality. And literally, when you put a negative connotation around going to the gym, around eating healthy, when you when you make it too complicated and you put too much pressure on it, it takes away from the joy of it and really like the overall uh, meaning behind it, you know? So I think, you know, fitness journeys, losing weight, um, going towards your goals, those things should motivate you. Those things should be fun. Those things should give you some type of joy. And just having that, that negative mentality, ment mentality, it just takes away like the desire to even want to do that, you know? Even if you don't want to, just just changing your mindset y'all the mindset the mind it's a powerful thing it's like probably the most powerful thing that we have it's you versus you it's myself versus me it's you are your biggest competitor you are your biggest enemy so once you learn to master your mind once we learn to overcome ourselves then there's literally nothing nothing that we can't do y'all so i just wanted to leave you guys with that i feel like i'm about to go ahead and close out the vlog because i'm actually going to be combining last week's vlog with this week's vlog just because i was gonna post it last week but then i'm like we're just gonna put it together y'all so i feel like this vlog is already long hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog hope you guys got a little something out of that last little you know pick me up message because y'all know y'all know listen when i'm talking to y'all i'm also talking to myself as well so we're about to head out hope you guys enjoyed again i love y'all thank you so much for your support and bye y'all beautiful all your flaws are perfect you should let them show the things i love the most i don't know what you see but i see all of you beautiful